Louisiana Beer Reviews. We are looking at Holy Roller. This beer has morphed three different times, if I'm not mistaken. So it's not the original. This is not the original. This is an IPA from Urban South, uh, a local brewery in, in New Orleans. Uh, it started off as a West Coast, which was a clear IPA. Yeah, then absolutely. it moved to a hazy IPA. And now the label says it's a juicy hazy. So uh, changed again. Um, can's got all kinds of funky... Uh, New Orleans imagery. Yeah, imagery and you know, kind of symbols on it and all that. So we're gonna skip that. We're gonna go straight into the beer, and I'm expecting to see out of this a New England style. And what I'm getting is a New England style. As I'm pouring this, by the way, this is a 16 point. This is a 16.9 or a 19 2. 19 Excuse my nose. Stove top. My nose was. Stove pipe. Pardon me, guys. Uh, Stove pipe. So this is pouring like it's pineapple juice looking to me. Uh, cloudy, hazy, just like the like the label says. Uh, not particularly my most cherished style. Right. But okay, that's. But it, it is uh, it is a style to be respected. It's a it's it's a style to uh, taste every now and then, and it's a style also to review on. So the appearance of this is totally cloudy. You can't see what through it at all. It's six murky. Point, wait, six point three percent alcohol. And uh, we're gonna let Professor J go on. Go ahead. And what we're going to look at today is that. The disclosure on the can says malt beverage. Malt beverage. Okay. 6.3 malt beverage. Okay. All right. So if you look at it, you, you can see this. It's a quality buildup in a beer. Uh, it's just a haziness going on to it. You can't see through it. Yeah, creamy off creamy, white head. Yeah, creamy white off white head. Pineapple juice. Lacen, uh, lacens as it, as it rolls around. And I'll let you go ahead on the aroma. A lot of pineapple. And malt, pale malt. I'm getting pineapple. Uh, it's coming from the hops. Uh, almost like a like a, like a malty like a like a malty mang mango almost. Mosaic not, and not, <coughs> the hops are mosaic and citra. Yeah, okay. I definitely smell the mosaics. And they're showing Jackson Square, but this is not made in Jackson Square. But it's no, not it's made too close far. Enough. Too close enough. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's right down. It's right down at the road in in the uh, where old warehouse district of New Orleans. Yeah, right up the road. Up the road. Okay, let's get back to the beer. Because it's going up river. Because up river. From the... Get back to the beer. It smells really okay. good. Let's go ahead and give this a taste. You're right. Yeah, well, I'll talk about. We talk about the. See, when you do a lot of reviews, it, one of the other things start to become confused, like with Colonel Kurtz. Um, um, yeah, it's like, uh, I've seen this movie before. It's creamy. It's creamy. Get a little juice, a little pale malt. A little sugar, it's like sugar. Yeah, yeah. The funniest thing is I had this beer uh, three days ago from the same batch can. And what's the date on the bottom of it? 11-2. Packaged on, no, October 2nd, 2019. Uh, it's not November, October. So it's a uh, month and seven days as the time of this recording. Okay. So with, with that said, we got two completely different tasting beers from what I had, which was the 11-2 can, which I thought this was, to now the October 2nd can. You get a little hot bitterness there. It's a little tickle well, a little you, bit. You get almost sort of like that dry hoppiness that's kind of faded in this. When Let it's me, fresh, you get that, you, 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 get, you get a hop on the forward note and then a hop on the rear. I'm not getting the, the forward 
noted hop, and which drops a lot in the dry hops. The, the body's dry, a high medium, and the finish is sort of sweet. Look, when we used to go camping, the ladies would make something called like ambrosia. It was like a fruit salad with the sliced up cube, uh, the diced pineapples and the coconut and cherries. Yeah. yeah. This is what it tastes like. This tastes like that. Oh, it totally tastes like that. You remember that? Yeah. They, they would make that? Yeah, that's what it tastes like. It tastes like a, almost like a fruity cocktail. Less than a beer and more like a fruity cocktail. Right. And I had people kind of coming at me on the uh, flavored malt beverages, you know, like the yeah. ones, and then you were saying, hey, wait a minute, uh, you, we could have drank those together. And I said, oh, I thought you didn't like those. But then it was funny, I was thinking about those, and I was saying that they're kind of like this in a way. Yeah. They're like, they're trying to be like very, like you said, like a cocktail, which is fruity with the coconut and the, uh, the uh, <clears throat> Coco Lopez, you know, like the coconut can, yeah. coconut uh, milk and all that. This is definitely less than a beer, and it, and the hops kind of faded on it, so so I'm a little confused. Well, uh, I don't know what kind of cocktail that's called, but it tastes like that, with the coconut shavings and the pineapple juice, and um, mai tai, mai tai. <laughs> it's sort of a sound. Now. I don't know about cocktails, but um, it's fine, but. When I think of a, the word beer, this is very controversial to say this, but when I think of like, you say, let's drink a beer, my mind would focus more on the idea of this. Yeah. Not this. Not to say this is bad. No, this is good. And I was talking about the flavored malt beverages. My mind would not say, oh, I'm going to drink extra kinky pink or extra kinky gold. I wouldn't think that either. That's a flavored malt beverage or the, the strawberry the Dorita. But... I just, this tastes like what people think of when they think of beer. And this tastes of what people think of when they think of what I've described. The, the like, a, like a fruity kind of islandy drink. Exactly. Like something you, you'd expect from, I don't know. Like Poly if you. Like a Polynesian. Yeah, like if you went to Punch Drink Beach in 1980 and went to Bally High. They used yeah. to have that Polynesian club, the Bally High, and it would make some. Yeah, you like get this. that funny little drink and it was like no carbonation or anything in it. Let's put this as carbonation. So anyway, we're not. People are gonna say you attacking it. You attacking it. We're not attacking it. No, we if just. If people want to drink it, yeah. Like my sister would love it. I know a, a lady that lives in Tanchebahoa Parish. She's all into the hazy IPAs, and I made that connection today, this morning. She posted on Facebook my story. She she was playing music, showing Jucifer. Oh, I got a case of Jucifer, and I'm like, I get it now. That's why so many women like it, because it's fruity. Like, that's what they like to drink. Yeah, they do. They like to drink that. So, I get it. You, If you're making a lot of money selling it, keep selling it. Yeah, two there's people, nothing wrong with that. Two people doing a beer review in a kitchen don't need to like it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the 10,000 people a day drinking it, that's what matters, you know. Yeah, they like it. They like it. Right. I don't really like it, but it's still well made, and it's probably an A minus, kind of like the. Yeah, that's not. Yeah. And it, you know, I made that comment from the get go. This isn't my style, but I'm gonna go ahead and respect it for what it is, and you know, it's it's pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. It's a no. 92 out of 100. It's an A minus. It's yeah, fine. It's just a it's a fruit forward, tropical fruit forward, malt beverage. Like the can says, it's a malt beverage. So we're going to leave it there. That's what the can says. So lazy, lay, bon temps, lay. Thanks for watching our review of this malt beverage. And we're going to end this review by saying, y'all, come on down to southeastern Louisiana. Of course, this is not a flavored malt and beverage. there's now. lots of malt beverages out there. Right, but this is not a flavored one. We've got to no, be fair. No, no, fair. it's not flavored. It's no KBS. It's spiced with hops. It is spiced. All beer. Most all beers are spiced with hops. Y'all come on down to Southeast Louisiana.